Uh, hi, this is John again with another review. For the sake of this video, we're going to be discussing the 1972 film Night of the Lepers. It's LEP US. And of course, it's a Latin word for rabbits, and of course, I'm going to explain to you when I get into the film. And the movie stars Janet Lee and DeForest Kelly, of course, from Star Trek. And this was his last role he had, last non Star Trek role that he had. In, in the movies. Of course, this movie is about, I think it's, it's actually one of the last, if not the last of its kind, was about, it was cre it's, it's kind of like a B movie with giant killer rabbits. <laughs> I, am not, I am not kidding. It's also, this movie's also been known in some circles as Night of the Rabbits. Of course, this movie is about like in the Midwest or, or the, uh, Southwest, where they had a, a, a problem with rabbits, and of course, rabbits multiplying like crazy, and they were all over the Southwest, and they bothering the matches like crazy. And some of the matches wanted to, uh, it was poison and kill all the rabbits, so they could have, uh, because the rabbits were eating the crops, and you know the the. Uh, their animals, the cows and stuff, they have nothing to eat because the rabbits, the rabbits eat it all. So one of the farmers asked a scientist friend of his to go and see if he could work on a formula to reduce the population of rabbits. And so they won't multiply so much. So he says, well, I don't really work with rabbits and work with other animals, but you know, I'll see what I could do. So he, he works on a formula uh, to make the rabbits either smaller or to reduce uh, it, it, it works in two ways one is to make them smaller and to you know ruin the, their reproduction re reproduction systems but the problem was that the scientist had a daughter and she took one of the rabbits that you know her father injected with uh, the serum and she, and she also mentioned that the girl's father, girl's mother, was played by Jan Lee in this film. And the friend of this was played by uh, DeForest Kelly, you know, Dr. McCoy from Star Trek. So, so, so that's who, who the cast is. Uh, so, so she takes the rabbit that was first ejected and put it in another cage. And while she went to visit, you know, the friend who owns another ranch, the rabbit escaped got away from her and went into you know the tunnel the tunnels underneath the ranch where the rabbits are all hanging out and oh sorry sorry about that uh, so so the girl had girl had this rabbit and the rabbit got away from her and got into the tunnels and started actually reproducing with other with other rabbits and all the rabbits and the, this particular rabbit that first had the injection was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and of course since he was reproducing with other rabbits, those rabbits, or those babies, baby rabbits, were also getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so you get a whole mass of these giant rabbits. And they start killing people. And it's kind of, it's kind of like one of those beat movies from the 1950s where a scientist works on an animal and the animal gets bigger and bigger until it gets to the point where they have to, where the local townspeople and the local sheriffs and the uh, fellow and the army is like, had to kill whatever animal it is. And that, that was a big thing in the 1950s, and now it's 1972, when the movie came out, and, and these movies pretty much were dying off, because it's the same thing over and over again, and that's what, the, you know, pretty much this movie is. Same thing. So, what happens, of course, but in the end of the movie, of course, big effort surprise here, folks, the rabbits were all killed off. At least, the, at least the giant rabbits were, and I'm not going to say how they were able to do it, but, but I'm just saying you know, check the movie out and you see. And if you want to see Doctor McCoy with a mustache, you know, you know, you check this movie out. I also see Jen Lee, 12 years after, so she was in her voice. Uh, she had to be about like 45, 46 years old at the time, in the time of this movie, and she still looked hot. She still looks hot. And and uh, well, well she, and, and the funny thing is, is that they asked if one of her daughters could play her own daughter in the movie, and she said no, she didn't want her daughters to be in a horror film, 
And the funny thing is, who won't do Jamie Lee because and to be your known as the screen queen for being in the Halloween films. So, and it's kind of right, right. They kept it out and she didn't start in a horror movie to like another what, six years when the first Halloween movie came out. But for the time being, she kept it out of the horror, all horror films, which wasn't exactly a good reason to keep him out. You know, it's the, the irony is there. But anyway, the, the movie is not you know, it is one of those predictable horror films um, that you saw 20 years earlier in the 1950s. And of course, this movie, this movie is not bad. It says that it's, it's very, very predictable compared to other movies which I which I have reviewed on my YouTube channel with these uh, you know types of films. It says that this one has to be about killer rabbits, not tarantulas or. Uh, Giant lizards or anything else. I mean, it's like how many more of these movies could it possibly or giant birds? It just happens to be one with rabbits, and I think by this point people got tired of these type of movies. And I think, I think like I said earlier, this is one of the last movies of this kind. Now I'm getting into a habit of doing less than that's seven minute reviews, uh, which is another story for another time. So this is my review of the movie Night of the Lepers. Please click on the video, please read it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please follow this video on your Facebook pages. And you can check out all my reviews on my YouTube channel, uh, rallyc.com. That's all WDY. Now, c.com is the homepage to really review Christine Moore. And please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.